Welcome to the first Saturday concert. I'm Diane Therese. And uh, the theme for this iteration of this is true love's aftermath, because we have Valentine's Day with love. There's a lot of different kinds of love, and there's a lot of different consequences of love. And um, True Love's Aftermath is actually a line from my song Raisin Pie, so um, <clears throat> I always thought it was very evocative. So here's a classic song with this theme. It's a one you probably all know and could sing along with. It's Scarborough Fair, and uh, it was True Love. It is said, called that repeatedly, but now it's done because... Uh, the person is giving the other one tasks to do, they are utterly impossible. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. It's definitely over. <laughs> None of those things are possible. <clears throat> so here's another interesting uh, 
thing that followed true love it's a little song um i think a work song it's got such a wonderful driving beat it's called my johnny was a shoemaker and uh, we will hear what's going on with this young lady and johnny My Johnny was a shoemaker, and dearly he loved me. My Johnny was a shoemaker, but now he's gone to sea. With pitch and tar to soil his hands, and to sail upon the sea, stormy sea, and sail upon the stormy sea. His jacket was as deep sky blue, and curly was his hair. His jacket was a deep sky blue, it was, I do declare, for to reef the topsail up against the mast, and to sail upon the sea, stormy sea, and sail upon the stormy sea. Some day he'll be a captain bold with a brave and gallant crew. Some day he'll be a captain bold with a sword and spyglass too. And when he's got his gallant captain's sword, he'll come home and marry me, marry me. He'll come home and marry me. <laughs> Wishful thinking. If by some miracle her true love uh, becomes a captain, which does not happen to ordinary seamen pretty much ever. Uh, if by miracle that happens, he's not coming home to marry you. <laughs> well, now I'm going way back to my very first CD. Uh, this is a song called Close on Air, which I wrote uh, in my <laughs> unhappy, lovelorn youth. Which there was a great deal of it. It was good for writing songs, I would say. And this one, I haven't done it in ages. It's it's uh it's rather dark and depressing, but it's a good song, I think. <laughs> and uh, it was fun dragging it back up out of the depths. Let's see, I can't decide if I want this or not. I think I do. All right, close on air.
Well, one of the most drastic aftermaths of true love is if you've if you've uh, fallen with child. They say she fell pregnant. <laughs> really, how does that work? You trip and fall, and I can't imagine how that happened. But in this case, it's a great old song called "A Brisk Young Sailor," and. Uh, <clears throat> She loved him, much to her regret, and he's acting as sailors always have. And the interesting thing is that this is an old version of this particular plot line, and when it got it from England, and when it got to this country, it became, there is a tavern in the town, in the town, and <laughs> there my true love sits him down, never thinks of me. It became a rather merry thing, but this was the original, <laughs> a brisk young sailor. A brisk young sailor came courting me Until he gained my liberty He stole my heart with free good will And he's got it now, so I love him still There is an alehouse in a yonder town Where my love goes and he sits him down some strange girl on his knee and it tells her what he does not tell me hard grief for me and i'll tell you why it's just that she has more gold than i her wealth will fade her beauty pass and she'll come like me a poor girl at last to God that my babe was born, sat smiling all on his father's knee, while I in my cold grave was laid with the green grass crawling all over me. There is a bird all in yonder tree, some say he's blind and he cannot see. sound <laughs> on the dulcimer. It's the only song I ever did that with. <laughs> and that's the traditional way of, of, well not that, but of playing the dulcimer is with a noter like this, which I never do. <laughs> I do it more like this. Here's a, a classic uh, love postlude. The water is wide. Love is kind, gay as a 
so did my love prove false to me. There is a ship out on the sea. She's loaded deep as deep can be, but not as deep. First and last verses are very hopeful. The middle ones, <laughs> a little on the sad side. <clears throat> well, as I mentioned, um, the true love's aftermath line comes from uh, my song Raisin Pie, so I thought I would do that as a sort of you know, reference point. I don't know if it really goes with the theme, but we don't have to have every single song go with the theme. So here's Raisin Pie, which I wrote a long time ago in the 90s, or even the late 80s, and uh, based on a memory of my mother's when she was just a tiny little thing, she would visit her French Canadian grandparents, her Meme and Pepe, in uh, Charlton, Massachusetts. And uh, one of her fiddles would play, one of her fiddles, one of her uncles would play the fiddle and her family would dance up and down the kitchen because that was the longest room in the house. And they tore the house down to build the Massachusetts Turnpike. We weren't living there. My family wasn't there anymore, but um, that's where it was. Way back when of when I sing, when my mother was just a little slip of a thing, soft brown hair, pretty as a picture and barely there. To her meme's house, she would go see uncles and aunts and a cousin or so. And after supper, by and by, somebody would feed her some raisin pie. And as the moon came creeping in, she'd a watch Dusty memory passed on through my mother's eyes to me. But I can see him whirling by, feel the brush of a skirt and the echo of a sigh, hear laughter in the air of a house no longer there. And they dance down the long warm kitchen and the cares of the day.
for as long as the tune in the air And for the lifetime of a song The fickle were true and the weak were strong And by a magic recipe Their hearts beat in time with the melody The dancing of a string Did set their souls to sing want to look up that recording uh, I had the blessing of Johnny Cunningham singing playing his fiddle on this song just amazing experience I've always been really fortunate to have great backup musicians whenever I whenever I hired them and he was truly <laughs> an amazing fiddle Well, this, this song was also on my first CD, and um, it truly fits the theme, talk about true love's aftermath, when, when love turns into something completely different. And unfortunately, uh, this, this keeps happening. Uh, domestic violence is just continuing on and on and on, and restraining orders do not seem to help keep women alive. And uh, one of the only things you can do is, is run away. So this song is called Walk Away. It is not at all autobiographical. I will walk away, pick up my Pick up my child. 
I sung that at uh, marches raising money for shelters and uh, <clears throat> I don't perform it very often, but uh, proud of it. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we need something a little more lively. <laughs> In the late 1800s, a fellow named Francis Child was collecting folk songs and he uh, went from town to town and had people sing songs to him and he realized he was hearing a similar plot with different melodies and different variations of the lyrics so he started numbering the plots he had uh, 305 of them by the time he was done so when you hear about a child ballad number something that means this particular plot line uh, no matter what the variations may be and child number 200 is the Raggle Taggle Gypsy, also known as Gypsy Davy or Gypsy Laddie or Black Jack Davy. <clears throat> the basic story is always the same, though. A newly wedded woman trades the lap of luxury for the life of a traveler, lured away by someone who looks exactly like a young Johnny Depp. <laughs> so here's, um, here's the Raggle Taggle Gypsy. There were three gypsies came to my door And downstairs around this a lady oh One sang high and the other sang low And another sang bonnie bonnie biscay oh Then she took off her silken gown Put on hose of leather oh The ragged ragged rags all about our door She's gone with the raggle taggle gypsies oh It was late last night when my lord came home and swore on every hand she's gone with the raggle taggle gypsies oh go saddle to me my milk white steed go fetch me my pony oh i shall ride to seek my bride who's off with the raggle taggle gypsies oh oh he rode high and he rode low he rode through woods and copses oh he rode till he came to an open field and there you leave your money oh what makes you leave your own wedded lord to go with the raggle taggle gypsies oh oh what care i for my house and land what care i for my money oh what care i for my new wedded lord i'm off with the raggle taggle gypsies oh last night you slept on a goose feather bed with the sheets turned down so bravely oh tonight you'll sleep in a cold open field along with the raggle taggle gypsies oh oh what care i for a goose feather bed with the sheets turned down so bravely oh tonight i'll sleep with my own true love along with the raggle taggle gypsies oh That must have happened at least once, <laughs> or maybe several times, you know. True love comes along and seems to trump all. Ah, sorry about that. Well, next, a different kind of aftermath. This is a, a song I wrote called Les Filles de Roi, which means the king's daughters. <clears throat> and it's about uh, women back in the 1600s who sailed across the ocean to marry settlers in New France, uh, as Canada was known then. They were known as filles de roi because the king was paying their dowry in order to encourage this, this settlement. And uh, fee means daughter, so they were the daughters of the roi, the king, filles de roi. So I chose a, an old French Canadian fiddle tune to set this this story to. And um, I love reading about this time and uh, because my great, 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 maybe eighth, seventh or eighth great grandmother was a fille de roi. And there are four or five of them actually in my distant family tree. So uh, one of the 
I, I love reading about, you know, superstitions and folk beliefs. And one of their superstitions was that the first to get into bed on the wedding night would be the first to die, which is rather a drastic thing. I don't know how firmly they believed that, but anyway, um, <clears throat> this is called a Le Fidoir.
Well, next I want to do a song I've been singing for many, many years. I think I've recorded it no less than three times, maybe four. Um, I learned it when I was in the Gloucester Hornpipe and Clog Society. And um, it, it's a, one of the first songs we know that was written here in the colonies around the time of the American Revolution. It's called Katie Cruel. And I play it on this very odd instrument, which is as close as I can come to an English guitar. This is what women played in the 1700s. And it was it kind of had a round lute like body and a very long neck played with, with wire strings, which is what this was sold to me as a dulcimer guitar. You hold it like a guitar and you play it like a dulcimer upside down. I don't know how I can play it at all. But anyway, here's Katie Cruel, which uh, certainly has uh, roots in Old England in some of the verses. And uh, I don't know if it's true love, but there's certainly something going on of a bad social nature with poor Katie, that they, she's now Katie Cruel. They call me Katie Cruel, oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not. Here am I where I must be, where I would be, I cannot, oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. When I first came to town, they brought me the bottles plenty, now they've changed their tune. They bring me the bottles empty, oh, the little lily day, oh, the little lily day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not. Here am I, where I must be, where I would be, I cannot, oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. As black as coal, lips as red as a cherry, and tis her delight to make the young folks merry. Oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not. Here am I where I must be, where I would be, I cannot go. Oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. I'll go and through the boggy mire, straight way down the road, till I come to my heart's desire. Oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not. Here am I where I must be, where I would be, I cannot. Oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. I know who I love, and I know who loves me. I know where I'll go, and I know who'll go with me. Oh, little lily day, oh, the little lily day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not. Here am I where I must be, where I would be, I cannot do. Little lily day. Has the most grammatically complicated chorus I've ever encountered. It's like driving in Boston. Oh, that I was where I would be. <laughs> then would I be where I am not. Here am I where I must be. Where I would be, I cannot. Oh, <laughs> great. 
Well, here's an old folk song, which is on a very fascinating subject. It's quite amazing that it exists at all. Uh, when it's done, it's often done as a joke, but I don't think it's really was meant as a joke. It's called, Me Husband's Got No Courage in Him, and you will soon determine what kind of courage this poor wife is talking about. Talk about true love's aftermath. This was not what she expected. <clears throat> As I walked out one May morning to view the fields and the leaves of spring and I saw two maidens standing by and one of them her hands was ringing. Oh dear, oh, oh dear, oh, my husband's got no courage in him. Oh dear, oh, my husband's admired where'er he goes and everyone looks well upon him with his handsome features and well-turned leg but still he's got no courage in him oh dear oh oh dear oh my husband's got no courage in him oh dear oh my husband can dance and caper and sing and do anything that's fitten for him but he cannot do the thing I want because he's got no courage in him. Oh dear, oh, oh dear, oh, me husband's got no courage in him. Oh dear, oh, all kinds of victuals I did provide, all sorts of meats that's fitten for him, with oyster pie and rhubarb too. But nothing will put courage in him. Oh dear, oh, oh dear, oh, my husband's got no courage in him. Oh dear, oh, seven long years I've made his bed, and every night I've lain beside him. But this morning I rose with me maiden head because he's got no courage in him. Oh dear, oh, oh dear, oh, my husband's got no courage in him. Oh dear, oh, I wish me husband he was dead, and in his grave I'd quickly lay him, and then I'd find another one what's got a little courage in him. Oh dear, oh, oh dear, oh. Me husband's got no courage in him. Oh dear, oh. <laughs> In the days before medication. What an amazing song. <laughs> Preserved for, for hundreds of years. <clears throat> well, that's a very, very old one. Uh, this is a very new one. One of my very newest uh, songs. Uh, written in response to uh, the pandemic and and as I said uh, in the previous song it was not what she expected well this the theme of this song is that things are are not what we expected it's called suitcase full of knives <laughs> and uh, it was written after my husband and I thought we had completely cleared out his uh, mother's condo and um, Lo and behold, we got there and there was a whole drawer full of knives. <laughs> now, what are we going to do with these? So there was a little travel suitcase and my husband dumped the whole drawer into the case and closed it up and we gave it to Goodwill. <laughs> so someone opened that up and it was not what they expected. So here's a um, suitcase full of knives. charity bin 
Drop them in a suitcase so they can travel safely. Hidden in the dark like a secret vow. Suitcase full of knives, not what you expected. Careful now. Slicing up the hours, dicing up the days. Heart full of knives and a pocket full of tetanus. Serrated edges and a rusted soul. Drop them in a suitcase so they can travel safely. Hidden in the dark like a secret vow. Suitcase full of knives, not what you expected. Careful now. You better be. Daring and pairing, leave that stuff behind now. Take only what you need, only what fits. A honing stone will be your best friend now. You'd better look short for the coming. Drop them in a suitcase so they can travel safely. Hidden in the dark like a secret vow. Suitcase full of knives, not what you expected. Care Well, <clears throat> sometimes uh, the aftermath of true love is a lifetime of devotion. <laughs> and we have uh, Lady Franklin's Lament. In the early 1800s, uh, Lord Franklin set out with several shiploads of sailors to find the Northwest Passage. People had been hunting for it forever. Um, you know, Columbus, when he bumped into the Caribbean, was trying to get to the Far East, to India, where the good stuff was, all those spices and jewels and such. There was this huge continent inconveniently in the way, and people kept saying, well, surely if we go north and meander through all these frozen islands and stuff, we'll find our way. Apparently, now with climate change, the Northwest Passage exists. <laughs> But in 1830 or so, it did not. And Lord Franklin and all his sailors just disappeared. And nobody knew what had happened to them for the longest time. And his wife, Lady Franklin, funded lots of expeditions. She badgered the Navy to go find him, and she sent her own search parties. So I ran across Lady Franklin's Lament, and it's set to a tune that's been used for a lot of different <laughs> songs. David Wilcox used it and, and various other people have used it. It's, a, it's a, just such a wonderful melody. So here's Lady Franklin's Lament.
swinging in my hammock, I fell asleep. I dreamed a dream, and I thought it true concerning Franklin and his gallant crew with a hundred seas. going to finish up with uh, another hopeful song, <laughs> another positive one, because I can't leave you <laughs> in this mass of sorrow and despair I've been singing about for an hour. Oh. So this is um, a song that I wrote, and I set it to the melody of uh, um, the air from Londonderry. Um, which is the tune for uh, Danny Boy. But I uh, set new words to it uh, for my niece's wedding a number of years ago. And um, yes, it was written from the perspective of, uh, I guess my husband and I have been married now 33 years. So the aftermath of our true love is, uh, is on the plus side, I guess. <laughs> We're doing okay. So here's your truest friend. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining me yet again on the first Saturday of every month. I hope to continue. I've started recording these so you can catch last month's, which was uh, Scottish songs, on YouTube. Just search for Diane Therese Scottish Concert. <clears throat> if you'd like to contribute, you can uh, go on PayPal at Diane at DianeTherese.com. So here's your truest friend.
once more.